We're looking at a pile of uh, broom flowers. Um, Genesta is a um, plant from the Canary Islands, um, Australia, and um, it's a legume family, Legumosia. It's a, a pea pod. Uh, basically, it's got uh, little hairy, purplish um, pea pods, and um, it looks like uh, Junicum, Spartacum, Spartacium, uh, possibly also is. Uh, another broom and um, they're all similar looking and um, I'm uh, going to bioassay this here in a while and uh, just wanted to um, give a detail of um, what the basic description was um, Look at another one of my uh, plants of the gods. Uh, the Ligomosia is a um, cystus um, yellow pea pod flowering um, broom type family, and um, it has lots of tiny, tiny little pea flowers, little yellow pea pea flowers that are um, about a quarter inch um, in size either way, and um, this is a extremely early spring and um, it's an Australian plant. This grows to be about um, 25 feet or so and um, will um, make an excellent um, fence or shrub for a hedge. It uh, branches out a lot. Um, all all yellow flowers um, on a lot of plants have uh, medicinal values and um, a lot of um, plants they flower throughout the year and they have um, different properties and um, there's a lot of uh, yellow flowers that um, are made into tinctures and and um, varieties of different medicinal pro products that um, are used in or in ceremonial um, practices um, depending on the region and or the plant as to where it happens to be growing. Um, this particular plant could be um, used for a dye also and um, quite possibly is a tincture dye plant and um, there's a canariensis it's from the Canary Islands I believe um, there's a lot of plants that are so similar and they cross pollinate and cruise all over so there could be a lot of similar plants in the same family and just this one particular plant happens to be an extreme rarity that only grows on one side of a mountain type of situation. Um, this is quite common where I'm at. I naturally foraged this so um, it could be a, an escapee rare plant and not a common plant and or not a common plant that's uh, local to this area or region at all. Um, it's really nice to grow in your garden. It'll take over um, a nice area eventually. It's a small tree, like I said, it'll be 25 feet or so and um, reasonably easy enough to uproot. Alright, peace. We're looking at some Cytisis uh, flowers or broom, uh, possibly Junicum, uh, Spartica, Spartichium. Um, it's a broom family. They're all brooms. It's a huge family. It may be Acacias too. They all have small pea, yellow, or different flowers possibly, but um, there's a great majority that have small little yellow flowers. These are um, little yellow pea flowers. And this is uh, Ligomosia, specifically this particular plant is a, a small tree about 15-20 feet with a purple fuzzy um, pea pods and um, it's got a green um, stem that's uh, pretty uh, bendable for um, the first month or so and um, it turns into a small tree and um, this is a tincture plant and um, 
a lot of uh, these yellow um, leaves and um, different leaves like this that are on these type of trees and plants don't always um, keep their color and these have dried out and um, also with mullein and um, different medicinal plants um, just by touching them you can um, do something that uh, makes them start degrading really quick and um, so there's different ways that um, when you're collecting plants that you want to prepare them so they um, will stay so they don't rot and um, so this is this is something that you can make uh, yellow dyes out of and um, they make dyes out of a lot of uh, all original dyes were out of plants and um, this is an abundant um, it's possibly a scotch broom it's uh, very abundant everywhere and um, it's really nice yellow so um, the leaves are edible and um, yeah I wouldn't eat the leaves I, I was just uh, saying that um, I do um, alright peace